to know an exceptional human being. This excellent daughter, sister, wife, and mother represented the best of our people and of this nation. Funke was my friend. Funke occupied a special place in the heart of all who witnessed the life she led and how she gave of herself to better the lives and advance the well-being of others. She radiated love and warmth. All who encountered Funke attest to her goodness, her nobleness, her decency. She meant harm to no one and extended goodwill and empathy to all. She cared for the poor more than she thought to be among the rich. She tended to the weak more than to the strong and mighty. She gave more than she took and laughed more than she cried. Her actions were motivated by concern and awards were those of compassion and love. The person she came to be would be an honor, honor to her parents and entire family. Our loss caught us deeply and make the world darker. Those who know Funke and the charity of her soul will know that Funke will advise us not to be sad at her departure and even forgive those who took her from home. She will tell us not to carry, to carry hatred in our hearts because hate destroys and only love builds and mends. Yet, she will also want her assailant to be captured and delivered unto justice, not so much in vengeance but so that they will not repeat their crimes and bring on to another family the sorrow we share here today. This is the type of, pe of person she was, and we must strive to live by these ideals so that she and we may continue to give meaning to the life of this great woman. In the spirit of Funke, let those who love peace, regardless of the religion or tribe, or political affiliation, join hand so that what we can and all we can, we do all we can to put an end to such criminality in our society, so that our women and children may travel this nation free of fear. Funke and I shared what I believe was an exceptional friendship. We regularly exchange ideas and advice. We could get on the phone with each other and speak for hours about everything from politics to family matters. I was enriched by a word of advice and encouragement. I shall surely miss our talks and the care that animated this woman who I consider my sister. Our attackers were wrong in thinking that they killed Funke. Her spirit continued to reside with us and make us better. More importantly, I believe our bright and shining soul now finds everlasting rest in the bosom of the Lord. My prayer is that this day, that God has his loving hand to comfort Baba and give him the strength to endure this tragedy. To every one of us who is a member of the same family, particularly for you, the other children, and other many members and friends 
May God's protection, mercy, and love cover you and provide the solace you need to carry through this loss. We all share the love with you. We miss you from care, but your light shines on. Thank you.